Man, I really can't wait until you guys watch this whole vlog. Again, don't forget to hit that like button to push the algorithm. All right, YouTube, I'm about to go ahead and go to my boy's birthday dinner. You know I got to look fly. I'm going to show y'all my closet. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to wear a nice three-piece. You know I got to look good when I'm out in these streets in Miami. i to check out the closet. By the way, my closet is very organized, so you're going to think I'm a little OCD. As y'all can see, I'm extremely organized. My closet, everything's aligned. I got jerseys together. I got sweatshirts together. I got all my suits on one side. Y'all see how organized I am? I do not play with that. So today, I'm going to go ahead and wear this three-piece striped suit. It's a Ralph Lauren brand. Um, I bought this about six years ago um, at Macy's. Um, real dope. Paid some money for this. All right, so I'm about to hop in the shower. Y'all finna see me get ready. I'm gonna look real fly, real nice. Y'all stay tuned. All right, come on, join me to the shower. So y'all know I like to do my little shower dance. I'm such a fool, man. I'll go ahead and get out the shower, feeling nice, feeling tight. Go ahead and put this lotion on, moisturize my body, get the dryness off me. I'm making sure I'm nice and smooth. Definitely gotta put deodorant, gentlemen. If you don't put deodorant, man, you're gonna be stinking on the arms, man. Make sure you put deodorant everywhere. Make sure you brush your hair, keep that hair nice and smooth. What I love to wear is, is Calvin Klein briefs, especially with my suits, because it cut it, it feels smooth. Also, along with that, are some Rob Lauren socks. As you guys can see, put on my socks. Take my sweet time making sure it stretches. Also with my white shirt as well. Rocking a white shirt. Make sure that white shirt is nice and clean. I can see I look good. This is my Movado watch. Real expensive watch. Um, as you guys can see, I almost dropped it. Oops. Yup. Went ahead and put the trend hem belt. This is part of my sponsor. Um, they provide me a nice belt as well. So um, y'all can see how smooth and nice it looks. After that, went ahead and tied his tie. Gentlemen, if you don't know how to tie a tie, that is a problem. Go ahead on YouTube and check out videos on how to tie a tie. I'm definitely going to make a video in the near future regarding in regards to how to tie a tie appropriately. All right, next, I put on my, my vest, the inside vest. Uh, that's part of my three piece, as you can see. Goes well, putting on my shoes. Definitely got to put the shoes on, make sure the shoes look good, make sure the pants go over the shoes. Gentlemen, next, put on my sports jacket. As you guys can see, that three-piece looking smooth, I'm looking right. I still got my wave cap on, I'm going to take that off after. But man, look how good I look. Man, I couldn't stop looking at myself, boy. Oh my gosh, you guys know what I love. Cologne, had to throw that blue Chanel on. Add an extra effect. Make sure you don't spray cologne on your watch because that ruins the coloring of your watch. Again, this is blue de Chanel. All right, so I'm go ahead and walk out. Currently walking to my Uber to get up and get out of here and go enjoy the festivities in Little Havana. Thank God my Uber showed up on time. I was so excited to get in the car. I always get excited when I hop in the Uber and go to specific events, especially in the around the city of Miami, get to drive around. So um, I'll go in and see the ride. Hop in the Uber, man. He, you know, it was pretty quiet. He didn't play no music or nothing like that. I didn't want to bother him. So I kind of stayed in my zone, just recording. Um, as you guys can see the city, driving through the city of Miami. Did back in my neighborhood. As you can see through the hallway, nice city lights. Right, I have arrived at the location. The place is called Calle Dragones, located in Little Havana. This is my first time actually entering this place. I've been in Little Havana on numerous, numerous amount of times. I'm not going to change my whole, but yeah, here's the place. Yo, look how nice the spot is. A lot of beautiful Latina ladies. Got my boy Derek, my boy Andres. We out here just vibing, waiting for everybody to come through. After that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go upstairs and meet everybody else. So this is a, a Latin, Latin bar. Uh, you see the beautiful lady dancing. Everybody's having a good time, just enjoying themselves, listening to music, sitting down, vibing. That's what life is all about in Little Havana. 
All right, so I'm up top. This is where the birthday festivities took place. We're up top, just enjoying the lights and looking around. And uh, definitely love the scenery, man. Love the scenery. Got to meet some of the people that helped out. Look at the nice tables with the menu. Ooh, my gosh. This is dope. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Now, gentlemen, this is where you take your wife or your lady on a date night, not your first night. Oh, well, to your discretion. I mean, it's up to you, but um, look at everybody just vibing, enjoying themselves. Check out the menu. All right, so I'm having a conversation with these lovely ladies, talking about men's self improvement, ways women can benefit, uh, teaching these women what men look for. A lot of times, women don't take the time to actually get to know what a man wants, but that's a different conversation for another day. So, this is something I'm just educating these lovely ladies, and I appreciate the cooperation. All right, so everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. You got this lady dancing in front and guy taking her away. Um, you know, everybody came to enjoy my boy Tone's birthday dinner. A lot of lovely ladies, and here to talk with my boy Andres, really good dude. All right, so pulled into Club 11, a club that never closes. Never really been a big fan of Club 11, but I went to support my boy Tone. Um, just a vibe and hang with the friends, but hey. All right, on my way back home, I was extremely tired. I was too tired to record me going inside of Uber and all that the whole nine, but I definitely enjoyed my night and uh, can't wait to go back to bed, sleep, and continue to grind. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. In regards to Miami nightlife, went to Little Havana and Club 11. Stay tuned for more. All right, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. And don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content.